In today's video, we will talk about Inquisitor Master, the squad Sora revealed new member. Let's get started. Number 5. Inquisitor Master will need a lot of people to try out and join squad, but she has one person that she set her eyes on, and that she thinks that this person that she thinks will join will do Inquisitor Master squad a big favor now and in the future. Inquisitor Master wants to have good and reliable people in her squad, and to spice it up, adding someone from another country would look better compared to all the people with her own squad, like pals or the crew. For example, the crew has a squad with only siblings, although they are really doing well. It is not as vibey as the friend group would be. But yeah, Inquisitor Master would definitely want to stand out from the rest and the whole Roblox platform and recruit someone that is an all-rounder in terms of content, and somewhere who can handle multiple languages and ethnicities at once to be more variant with their YouTube videos. Number 4. Now we will talk about the potential member who will join Inquisitor Master's crew. And the people who might be joining are big members when I say big, I mean they are huge like Flamingo and Megan plays Roblox. This is indeed very unrealistic, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, you guys need to believe this. There have been many rumors that Sora could be a potential and external recruit for Inquisitor Masters to join Inquisitor Master squad outside of her own friends, as she knows it will help her team grow bigger. Let me fill you guys in on who Sora is. Sora is an all-rounder content creator from France who creates all sorts of videos including reactions and vlogs or even gameplays here and there. He works on his own channel and works with his teammates to create funny, family-friendly content for everyone. Number 3. During the beginning, the channel consisted of videos of the vlogging genre, with random vlogs being uploaded almost every day. He would also upload challenges, pranks, do-it-yourself projects, and other entertaining content. The channel started gaining popularity when she started uploading gaming videos, which are primarily of the game Roblox. It will be a big improvement for Inquisitor Master Squad as they will gain a lot of viewers by having someone from abroad join their team. Inquisitor Master wants to have a diverse group of people in her squad, and it's not a bad idea at all. Sora hasn't been quite revealed officially yet, but there are a lot of things we pick out from her videos that would show us she could be. Sora could potentially be another American, but there is a subtle accent to pick out from it. So where could she be from? Number 2. Sora is depicted as an orange-themed character in Inquisitor Master's videos. So that already hints us, though not racially, a bit about her country, since all the characters have some sort of meaning to their colors. Being orange and having a slight accent that rounds European, it could be a possible that Sora is indeed from countries like Italy, Greece, or even Russia. Regardless, it's an accent in some of her words and not throughout all her speech. This means that she could just have learned her words to be pronounced differently, and this means that she could be all from America, but South American to be precise. Sora has a very outgoing personality and she has described her childhood to be a bit tough in comparison to the usual childhood that American would have, so it's possible she is from Mexico or Brazil. Well, it's all down to speculation at the end of the day. Number 1. Lastly, Sora's age is another factor that she could be taken into account. Although the squad's members are all between the age of 20 and 25, Sora does come across more of a child in comparison. Her high-pitched voice and personality are two of the main things that lead to this conclusion. A lot of the fans also agree with this theory, as they believe that Sora is a youth of the age of 16 to 18, and she could also be possibly Alex's sibling. But how crazy would that be, right? So far, we don't know about Alex's family as much. So for her to have a sister that could join her YouTube group, that's just a huge achievement. Nonetheless, Sora does add a lot of humor to her videos, and with her, the squad is much more friendly and entertaining. So regardless of her actual identity, she could just appreciate the effort of the squad goes through to make such good content. Alright guys, that's all for the video today. 
don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to click on the bell icon to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video.